Good evening. And welcome. welcome. <laughs> so today we're looking at a Sound Toys plugin. Where most of us are familiar with the Sound Toys bundles and plugins. So what are we looking at, Sean? This is the Sound Toys Little Alter Boy, which basically. <laughs> Right. Yeah. Calm yourself. Um, it's, I mean, what does it say? It says it's a monophonic voice manipulation plugin. So basically, it, it lets you adjust pitch and formant mm -hmm. either together or you can unlink them and, and adjust them separately. It's got a couple of extra things. So it's got a drive control, which basically lets you overdrive. You can have it in normal mode where it will just adjust pitch and formant. You can mm -hmm. put it in quantized mode, and that sounds like a really overdone auto tune. It will step between notes rather than gliding. Yeah. And it's got a robot setting where it fixes the note. And so, what you, you run it in line and you what? You run vocals through it? You can run, the good thing about this, you can run anything through it. Yeah. I really like the fact that you can run vocals through it and you can change the pitch and the formant quite a lot. Mm. And, it, and, it, and it sounds good. It does have a sound. It's not completely transparent, but okay. I really like the sound of it. I've used it. Because often you get that bit crushy kind of. Yeah, it, it can do a bit of that if you go to the extremes. But generally, if you're staying within a few semitones, it doesn't. Right. I've been working on an album recently where I've been using vocals that were meant for other things, samples. And sometimes you use a vocal okay. line that's in the wrong key. Mm. You pitch it so it's in the right key, but obviously there'll be the odd note which isn't. Yep. I automate this to put those notes in. Ah, uh, I see. And you, you don't even know it's happened. Right. It's, it's, it's brilliant. Okay, so good, a, a tool then for, for pitching vocals. A really useful, pitching anything. Yeah. It's just really useful. A, crea I, a creative tool too? 100%, yeah, I use it for, you can put traps through it, you can put bass, any, anything you want to put through it, You can. it will work and it'll do something interesting. Yeah, I think it's a great little thing. And how much is it? I think it's like insanely cheap. I can't remember. Because yeah, they do the little plate. Is it the little plate too? That's, yeah, they do a bunch free? of... I mean, they do, they do the, the packs, don't they? But their plate yeah. reverbs are phenomenal. So pretty cheap. Yeah, yeah, it's cheap. I think it's one of those no-brainers. Again, if you do a lot of stuff where you need to change the format or pitch of something, this is quick, easy, and uh, yeah, quite often that involves diving into a door. This, this is just a really simple you know, interface, easy to use. Well, here we are. Sean, is it shit? It ain't shit then. No. It's sound tools. Little old boys, they're not shit. <laughs> <laughs>